Hey, it's Bluebird. In this video, I'm going over my top seven reasons why you shouldn't get a job as a distiller. So let's go. People get into distilling because they're passionate about making great spirits. And as a distiller, you'll have easy and constant access to alcohol. If you love spirits, this can be awesome. But it has to be said that there's a very fine line between drinking too much and alcoholism. This distinction becomes even more difficult to navigate when you work as a professional distiller and it's part of your job to taste and assess spirits. Oftentimes, distilleries are built in industrial complexes or garage-like spaces where you're more exposed to temperature changes. So in the summertime, it can get extremely hot. And you're also running the stills, which can get heated up to 100 degrees Celsius. In fact, I did have a co-worker faint during the summertime while working in the distillery due to the extreme heat. In the winter time, it can get really cold. Imagine having to work inside your garage all day long in the winter. As a distiller, you're more exposed to the elements since you often have to go outside to grab a pallet or to move the spent grain out into the compost bins. So you'll have to be going out in the snow and rain during work. If you go visit a distillery, you're mostly going to be in the nice part that's meant for distillery visitors. So it's going to be really warm, bright, and beautiful inside. The production side of a distillery is usually not such a nice environment to work in, especially when compared to a nice office job. Distilleries can be extremely loud places. You have your distilling equipment, your mashing equipment, and all your other noisy equipment. And sometimes you do have to yell in order to be heard by your co-workers. When I started working in a distillery, I bought myself a pair of custom earplugs because I was so worried about the long-term effect all that noise would have on my ears. Depending on how big the distillery is, you might be required to do some shift work. So you might have a shift from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., 2 p.m. to 10 p.m., and if you're extremely unlucky, a shift from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Personally, I hate graveyard shifts, and I'd never want to work at a distillery that made you do them, because it completely messes with my sleep schedule when I go from having to work a graveyard shift to a day shift. If you've ever looked at a distiller job posting, it isn't uncommon to see listed as a requirement must be able to lift a minimum of 50 pounds. Distilleries, especially craft distilleries, will need you to do a lot of heavy lifting. And this can be containers filled with spirit or cask of whiskey and rum or bags of grain and yeast. Even with the help of dollies and palletizers, there's still a lot of manual labor involved in distilling. Not to mention you're on your feet working all day. It's easy to pull your back or get injured. And even if you do manage to avoid getting injured, doing all this manual labor and heavy lifting is going to take a toll on your body anyhow. On this channel, I highlight a lot of interesting aspects of distilling from recipe creation to distillation theory. However, the day-to-day -day job of being a distiller is actually quite boring. Distilleries usually have a few core spirits that never change, so you'll be making the same things over and over again. You'll also spend a lot of time in front of the bottling and labeling machine. Sometimes you do get to do really fun things like develop new recipes, but by and large, you'll be doing the same thing over and over again. The pay. Uh, I hope you weren't hoping that I'd tell you that the pay is awesome. On Comparably.com, it states that the average distiller in the US makes $40,131. And on ZipRecruiter, it says that the average salary for a distiller is $36,772 per year. Or in other words, $18 an hour. This might be alright if you're a single person, but if you have a family, then the salary is not going to cut it. 
To recap, my top seven reasons for not pursuing a career as a distiller are number one, the potential for over drinking and alcoholism. Number two, being exposed to the elements. Number three, the high noise levels or potentially needing to work graveyard shifts. Number five, it being a very physically taxing job. And number six, the monotony of the job. And number seven, the pay. I get a lot of people who message me who are interested in turning their passion for spirits and hobby distilling into a full-time career. Personally, I would suggest just keeping distilling as a hobby rather than turning it into a full-time job. I think distilling is much more fun that way. However, if your end goal is to start your own distillery or you know exactly what you want to get out of working as a distiller, then by all means, go for it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button down below for more distilling, brewing, and videos about the drinks industry. This is Brewbird, sending goodbye to your way. I'll see you next time.